Welcome to Epstein, Becker, Green's Employment Law This Week podcast. I'm George Whipple. Is the NLRB unconstitutional? A judge in the Western District of Texas recently raised that question. Judge Albright issued a preliminary injunction against the NLRB's case against SpaceX, citing the likelihood that SpaceX would prevail in its argument that the president's inability to fire NLRB administrative law judges and board members is unconstitutional. Epstein Becker Green, Steve Swirsky has more. The court's order in this case was extremely narrow and extremely limited. The court granted a temporary injunction specifically with respect to the board taking further action in this particular unfair labor pra- practice case against SpaceX. The case would proceed and ultimately the court said it will, uh, after discovery and further uh, proceedings, determine whether or not it will grant a permanent injunction. Epstein Becker Green's Aaron Schaefer tells us more. We do expect other employers to raise this issue as well. Um, they may do so either in the Western District of Texas or we may see additional challenges in other parts of the country. Um, so as this issue plays out throughout the country, Um, We will continue to watch, keep an eye on litigation as it works its way through the courts. The court's analysis in this case rested on its interpretation of a United States Supreme Court precedent established in the 1935 case, Humphrey's Executor versus United States. The court found in that case that a federal agency did not hold significant executive branch power and could take administerial action even if the agency was not subject to having its members removed by the president. We don't see anything in this decision that suggests that Humphrey's uh, executor is about to be changed or that the court will be revisiting that, but it is certainly possible. With the Supreme Court Chevron decision, um, we're still waiting to see the effects of that decision play out. Certainly right now, parties that have an interest in challenging the authority of administrative agencies to make decisions and those decisions themselves are emboldened and have an opportunity to litigate some questions that otherwise may not have been raised before. This is um, sort of an example, I think, if you look at the SpaceX case of uh, a court district court saying, we're doing that. We're looking at this decision. Uh, we're looking at the way the NLRB has functioned for 80 years and, um, uh, making our own determination as to whether or not the statutory scheme is is consistent with the Constitution. The implications of the Supreme Court's Loper-Bright decision that overturned Chevron are filtering down to lower court rulings on a variety of issues. We'll keep following this as it develops. Thanks to Steve and Aaron, and thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. This podcast is presented by Epstein, Becker, and Green, PC. All rights are reserved. This audio recording includes information about legal issues and legal developments. Such materials are for informational purposes only and may not reflect the most current legal developments. These informational materials are not intended and should not be taken as legal advice on any particular set of facts or circumstances, and these materials are not a substitute for the advice of competent counsel. The content reflects the personal views and opinions of the participants. No attorney-client relationship has been created by this audio recording. This audio recording may be considered attorney advertising in some jurisdictions under the applicable law and ethical rules. The determination of the need for legal services and the choice of a lawyer are extremely important decisions and should not be based solely upon advertisements or self-proclaimed expertise. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the quality of legal services performed by other lawyers.